Hey, Dave Oslin here. I've got a model 78 Woodmax flail mower with the hammerhead blades on it. I'm gonna show you how I sharpen these things with the minimum amount of fuss. Well, here we are, model 78. Now I got the one, the model with the uh, horizontal adjustment. It can go back and forth. I don't use it a lot, but when I do it, it's very handy to have. And obviously I've got the hydraulics on it so I can tilt it one way or the other. Um, yeah, I've got this on a Kubota L35, which is rated about 30, uh, 28 horsepower at the PTO. It's a little undersized for this size of mower, but 90% of the time it performs great. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what I do to sharpen these blades with the minimum amount of fuss. I'm using the driver and a socket to do some nut removal. I'm using an 18 millimeter socket to take a couple bolts out of this thing. Just have to remove these two lower bolts on the outside of this. There you go. I'm gonna loosen this up just a little bit. And the same thing on this side. And we'll see if I can even swivel this thing up. What I do too is uh, drop a nut in here to keep, keep the shield up. With that rear shield flipped up, all my blades are exposed. Let's see how these look. Not bad, but definitely need to be sharpened. So what I've got here is a short clamp wide enough to get around here. I tried to talk my wife into doing this, but she just doesn't trust me with a grinder. So, here I am. Taking this thing. Now that thing's nice and snug. So I would keep a spray bottle of water if you're having to do a lot of grinding on these for more than say a minute or so, especially if you see this starting to turn, you know, colors like blue, gray, dark blues, um, things like that. That's telling you you're putting a lot of heat in them. So keep them cooled off as you're grinding so you don't, you know, temper that, temper the hardness out of that blade. One thing I've noticed on these outside blades, that little outside corner right there tends to get worn on both the outside cutting heads. So periodically I'm gonna to wanna to replace one, put it in the middle, take one of the middle ones out, put it back here, just so we kind of get even wear on the blades. And I just try to approximate the original angle on that thing. But uh, compared to the Y blades that I had on this at one time, these last a lot longer between sharpening. Plus I can grind up, man, I, I have to admit it, I put some two inch branches down there and just slowly baby my way over those things and turned them into mulch. I, this thing's a combination between a mower and a rototiller. So that's it. I mean, I probably spent maybe 20, 25 minutes tops, and half of that time was futzing around with the, the camera moving at diff different angles. I'm not a polished video guy. I'm just a worker that's trying to share a little bit of information with people. So now I can 
pull that bolt out, put it, swing it back down, rebolt it. It's ready to go for next time. I had to put this thing back together.